Okay, so I did what I said, I shoved in all the Megalex 2 levels, so now we're gonna have a lot of variety, I think. Although I'm sure something's gonna go down in flames very quickly, but... So as you can see, I already s switched to Rosalina. This isn't Rosalina, obviously, but I just wanted to check out the alternate costume. Okay, we've got a Toho character, Rosalina, and the Spoo. I guess it's random or something? Or there- oh wait, there's two versions of Rosalina. There's this, uh, there's a slightly shorter, more pixelated version, and then there's this version, which seems to be the default. Okay. I also noticed that Rosalina can glide with the normal, uh, jump button as opposed to you having to hold a different button for that, so that's nice because I'm used to holding this button for Peach. Oh, uh, seriously? Seriously? What are the odds that I'd get this level of all things? Ugh. Well, we're killing PewDiePie. Goodbye. I don't know any PewDiePie jokes, so don't expect- not oh, wow, great. So don't expect me to make any references. Ugh, I missed again. Come on, Birdo, stop jumping. There we go. Oh, oh yeah, there's Rinkus now. For some reason I thought it was like a triple Birdo fight or something. I guess it doesn't really matter if I get hit, because it's just mushrooms anyway, but... Yeah, I'm ex I'm expecting Rosalina to go higher on the first jump, which is a part of the, which is throwing me off. But of course, different character, and I'm not used to playing, of course. So, which is cool. Dang it! Give me an opening. I don't care if I get hit. I just don't want to bust my thing. I'm not. Dang it! Oh, yeah, here's the triple PewDiePies, because, well, at least it's not Rinkus this time, so they're pretty easy. Thank goodness. Goodbye. I'm not even gonna listen to that message. I don't care. That was the most exciting Megalex 2 level I could have possibly gotten. I'm so glad that happened. Okay, get your fan fish off my keep. Oh, this is this is that really long one, isn't it? Oh boy. So I So as I recall, I'd better get out of the house quickly after I throw the food into the thing. My, wow, my thing's kind of moving slowly here. Uh-oh. Man, this is slow. I'm assuming this is because of, uh... I, I'm recording it at the same time. Okay, so... Now we get... Uh, how do I do the targeting thing again? It was select. <laughs> and it just kind of comes back. Okay. Somehow fly towards a large keep in the distance. Heh, <laughs> I wanted to target that guy, and now that guy. Stop right there, Toad. Well, <laughs> yes, I'm Toad. <laughs> I guess I have to talk to you. Hey, buddy, get your Rip Van Fish off my keep, blah, 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 blah. Oh, man. Uh. I'm curious if I stop the recording for a second whether this will speed up. Okay, I dropped the recording down to 30 frames per second and killed a bunch of stuff, so things seem to be running alright now. So now let's kill that guy. Oh, wait, I meant to... Goodbye. I fired that the wrong direction, thank goodness for the homing. Yes, target that guy for me. And now target that guy. 
Now you can die, and okay. <laughs> Just kind of drops to the floor. Okay. So yeah, this is a good excuse to play around with some of the targeting here. I can't throw it upwards, unfortunately. You found an old flyer about spin jumping in the grass. <laughs> oh boy. I sure hope I don't need uh, to actually do any spin jumping, because then I'm in trouble. I don't think there's anything in this level where I needed spin jumping, but I don't think I can get to that spring in any cheating way because I'm using Rosalina. Oh, dang, I didn't mean to be targeting those guys, but okay. Take that. Yeah, I was hoping to hit the fish up there somehow, but... Uh, hitting springs is... Even harder with Rosalina than with Peach, because, uh, you can't just, uh, stop holding the button for a second, because you have complete control over how you fall. Goodbye. Didn't even need to target you. So I guess, I wasn't really thinking about it before, but... Uh, coins also fill up that luma meter up there. I, w I wanted to be careful there rather than use the targeting because I didn't know what it would target. If I hit the button it could have hit a Goomba instead. See, so yeah, I, I didn't really think about that during the Megalax 2 demo that coins in other levels would be the things... <laughs> I can just skip that. Triggering the uh, invincibility thing. For some reason, I guess I was just expecting star bits to exist in every level for no reason. Well, uh, I guess this is a good time to test that out because... I'm sh well, I'm sure I could make it through here. So what's the button again? Nope, that's the re-rolling level button. Don't do that. Yeah, invincibility! And now I'm wasting it trying to get the spring to work. Unfortunately, it worked real quick. And because I'm Rosalina and not Toad, I can just cheese everything? Yeah! Oh, maybe I should have saved it for in here. There were some parts in here that really would have deserved that. More th so than the stuff I did outside, but... I just wanted to use the thing, you know? <laughs> oh wow, this music's loud. I can hardly hear myself talk now. Warning, warning, these pipes... Tower pipes clog releasing contents. Okay. So... So yeah, like... They fire and it gives me an opening. And then... So I'm safe where the coins are. So I can get over to this side safely so that I can see what I'm actually doing. Ah, she slides so much on the floor I almost got hit there! Yikes! She also seems to accelerate really slowly now that I think about it. I can cheese my way through- Whoa! I, I forgot about the double jump. Can die. Okay, those are shells. I got confused for a second. I forgot that they weren't like Goombas or something. Okay, run across these. As I recall, this was just something that needed to be taken slowly and steadily. So that gives me an opportunity to. Nope, that didn't work at all. Whatever. This is the last thing I have to do before I get to the top. Oh wow, uh, that was really necessary. <laughs> Instead of an actual power-up. Hopefully this is an actual power-up. Yeah, there we go. Thankfully with how low she jumps, it makes it easier to get on those springs a little bit. I don't even have to do it right. Well, unless I do it very wrong. See, if I glide like this, I don't even have to do the screen wrap around. Yay! Oh yeah, I forgot they did that, so... Glad that worked out. Man, this is... <laughs> this is a long level to be playing, I guess. Hopefully all the gimmicks here work correctly, because there's that whole gravity thing with the ceiling. So let's see if I can still remember what to do. Um... I have to get the megaphone from here. By hitting the flipper thing. Which button was it again? This one? No, obviously not that one. I hate how pressing start moves it down to quit, because then if I, often I press start, and then I try to press start to, again to close the message box, and I move down to quit, and I'm like, whoops, that was the wrong button, so I press D and quit the level. It's annoying. Oh, there's... How do I get the thing to start again? <laughs> Maybe I should actually read the instructions before trying to use the thing. Standing on the red block. 
It's not firing though. Oh, there we go. And then it was. Oh, up. Oh, there we go. Down drops. Down drops the shell out and up fires the pinball. And then I've got a second one here, but that failed. Okay, get rid of those guys. Yep, do that. And well, how is this again? Just press the button until it works. No, that doesn't work. There we go. I just need to do it once more. There we go. Oh wait, and I've got to kill that guy, which I guess that didn't work. How did how did it fall in there? <laughs> Not sure how that happened exactly. So I, I gotta get a different angle than I had last time to hit that guy. Dang it. <laughs> Maybe I can hit him uh, without actually going up there. Oh, come on. <laughs> there, got it. Alright. So now I have access to a megaphone, which is great because it's a key, I'm pretty sure. So I can just chuck it into stuff. Bowser's Spa. Great to get the megaphone before going in here because this way I can just kill a. Wait, oh, that didn't doesn't work that way. Okay, yeah, they come out first, so I've got to get the hammer suit. <laughs> well, I, I don't have much experience using Rosalina's hammer suit, so I just kind of like s threw stuff everywhere and it worked. So yeah, it, you can place bombs everywhere and they'll drop when you press select, and they do so in order. So I can do that. Yeah, take that. How do I pick this thing up now? She's just too busy dropping bombs. Do I have to go on top of it? And that doesn't even work. How do I pick up the megaphone with the... <laughs> I'm not sure if this is an actu a legit issue or if I'm just failing to do something correct, but... Which is this? Balcony. That's like for the Secret Star or something. I don't care. There's enough content in this level, thanks. Bowser's Lab. I get like the dumbest, shortest level in the entire game. And then I pulled this one out of all things. Experiment. Gravity beams were stolen. Okay. So I don't know if these things work. Although I can just kind of leave those there for the fish to collide into, that's funny. Oh, uh, oh, oh, they do work. Okay, good. The float kind of breaks it, though. This is going to make the running segment really hard. I don't even know if it's going to be doable, but <laughs> I can sure try. So yeah, I have to abuse the new mechanics because otherwise things are going to be off a little bit. Just float over you. I'll get in there. So when I'm floating up, when I'm going upwards, I can't actually float, but when I'm going downwards, I have all the time to float that I want. Well, uh, that's not going to work. Maybe if I do a better job. There we go. <laughs> this kind of makes this super easy to cheese, but. Oh. I guess I gotta be ducking there or else. Hmm. I, I gotta have to get creative. There. <laughs> that works. Oh, uh, I'll, I'll grab this because uh, otherwise I can't grab the megaphone that I'm gonna need later, so. I'm surprised I remember the level as well as I do, considering it's been a while since I actually played this. So I hit the switch here, and then s stuff works out over there, I think. At least I can try to abuse the invincibility in the speed section, is what I'm thinking. Up the pipe. <laughs> they were expecting me to be going the other direction there. Thank goodness for homing missiles. That makes that a little bit easier. I don't need that, so let's just not. And... Do the same trick I pulled earlier, just to save a couple seconds. Sheesh! 
almost through the level. Thankfully there's a, a Luna point before I go into... this is the game room, but I need another megaphone. I think I've uh, done everything that I need to do to enter the final area. See all the Rip Van fish. Oh, it's slowing down again. So let's put the megaphone back where it deserves to be. <laughs> wow, Rosalina, your voice has changed a little bit. <laughs> Just a bit. Oh, I have to press the button. I th for some reason, I assumed it would go on its own. And now it's a fish catastrophe. Uh, do I go down here? Okay, now I'm hoping this bit is possible and I don't have to re-roll after all that, but... Because Rosalina is a lot slower than Toad. Yeah, I feel like this isn't gonna work. <laughs> I literally don't have the speed to... Hmm, but maybe if I use that star power thing, I'll be able to... I'll be able to do it. Because if I just ride the fish wave to the exit, I mean... Oh, wait. I ran out of star power because I died. Well, that's unfortunate. So I feel like my only hope at this point is going to be to break the game somehow. Eh, that's not going to work. <laughs> One can hope. What's back here? Huh. Well, the fish wall is lying in wait. Doesn't help me much. I better not try to go back through there. Wait. Yeah, this will work. There we go. Sorry for breaking your level, but I don't think I'd be getting through without doing that. There. I, th I think that skips the activation for the wall. Thank goodness Rosalina is two spaces tall like Peach, or that wouldn't work at all. Oh wait, but do I have to trigger that event to actually make it through this part? Because I think at the end I have to... I think at the end I have to wait a bit for a timed event or something, so... Yeah, that's not going to just time itself nicely for me, is it? Because... Okay, there was nothing to time. Yikes! Bounce on one, please? Or not. Now you gotta ride the lava rafts. Okay, good. Hopefully that starts the timer so that things work. Wait, why did he- why did he even do that? Whatever. Get into the pipe, Rosalina. Oh, it was just a pipe. I didn't have to wait for the timed event. Thank goodness. Breaking level for the win. Do I go over here, or... How does this work again? Oh. <laughs> just go to the left. Should have been obvious. There we go. <laughs> Sheesh, that could be the thing on its own, <laughs> honestly, but... Yeah, so I know my first attempt at that uh, racing was clumsy, but... Honestly don't think even if I did it perfectly that I'd have the time to do it, so... It also makes me realize that for the time challenge thing, Rosalina's gonna suck. <laughs> Toad, of course, is gonna be amazing. Well, Rosalina's gonna suck except for the odd case where she just breaks the level in over her knee and somehow skips like 80% of it, but... So yeah, this, this level is pretty cool. Going across the giant pokey. Rosalina, d this uh, Peach was one of the characters uh, that this level was made for, so it's not inappropriate for Rosalina too, considering Peach is probably the closest to Rosalina as one might expect. So it seems to be playing fairly naturally compared to the last level. Where everything was just kind of really weird, because it was all built for Toad. Wow, that's... Rosalina's jump height is so low that sometimes perfectly mundane tasks become slightly scary. 
Uh oh. <laughs> almost got caught there. Whoa! Almost got caught there too. No spin jump, of course. Link doesn't have spin jump either, so. There we go. See, stuff like that's cool about Rosalina's mechanics. I wouldn't be able to do that with any other character, I don't think. Because I had to drop a bit. Well, at least I wouldn't be able to do it without a tail. With a tail, I'd be able to pull off something like that. There we go. That's <laughs> Finally, that's more than what I was expecting when I shoved the Megal X2 levels in there. So, I'm thinking that... Oh, shoot. I'm Toad this time. Let's re-roll. Go away, Toad. Nobody likes you. <laughs> Actually, lots of people like Toad, I'm sure, but... Oh, hey, it's the cow level. So, yeah. I'm assuming because Megalax 2 has so many levels, it's going to show up very often. So... Oh, yeah, it was the sheep that were friendly. <laughs> Rosalina just kind of, like, bashes things with her wand. It's kind of hilarious. Okay. Hit the blocks. Hit more blocks. Did this level already give me a power-up? I forget. Oh, I thought I had a second jump. That's something I do in Smash Bros. all the time. But not used to doing that by mistake in uh, Smabax. Here. Wow, I missed. Great shot, me. <laughs> now you can die. Oh, I killed the sheep. Oh well. They say that they're invincible or something like that. Dang it. Let's grab this. Obviously I'm not going for the secret exit here because I don't think that's worth my time. Oh wow, that sheep decided he was gonna defy gravity today. <laughs> spider sheep, spider sheep does whatever a spider sheep can. Okay, so here's the barn. Contains like Yoshi's, I think, but that doesn't help me because I'm not playing with the right character for this level. So let's just leave. Goodbye. Goodbye. And I can use you to get up, thankfully, because Rosalina's jump height is so low. But. And we've got the cows jumping out of the water. Yeah, this is cute. This level is very rompy in nature, so... It's kind of hard to aim Rosalina's wand because it feels so strange. I'm not 100% sure where the hitbox is on it. It might be like... Oh, that cow's friendly. I'm not sure if it's near her base or near her top, exactly. I haven't been able to tell from what I've been doing so far. Uh, that's not working. Maybe if I bounce off a cow. Oh, you're friendly too. Are you friendly? No. <laughs> oh, you're Rao Cow. I get it. Yeah. So, running speed. I, I did get hit for. I did get hit by the ledge for a moment. Ugh, it feels like I can make that if I try hard enough, but. Let's check the other direction, especially since I've got a feather. Oh, here's the green switch. I think I need to hit a couple of the switches to get through the regular exit. But I don't... I'm not sure if I needed to hit them all. Or maybe it was a cup. I only needed to hit a couple for the secret exit. I can't remember. Oh, sorry. Let's just get the yellow one right. that's right here anyway, just to be sure. Let's use the invincibility because I can. If I once I remember which button to use, everything can die. Maybe I should have used this somewhere outside of the water because inside the water, <laughs> it's just kind of lame. Okay, that's interesting. She does her second jump underwater before she uh, does her. Oh, here we go. She does her second jump underwater before she starts actually swimming, just to show off how magical she is, I guess. Like, haha, I can double jump and none of you losers can. Except Ninja Bomberman, because he's Ninja Bomberman. Of course he can jump twice, he's a ninja. Oops. Well, that sucks. 
Let's carry this cow with me. I can get across here, as long as it's horizontal, which it was. But yes, I was right. I needed uh, all four of these switches hit anyway, so that doesn't help me much. But I think the red switch is up there. Yeah, because the coins lead to the switch, obviously, so... Okay, so yeah, I need to use the responding sheep here to get up. Especially since Rosalina can't jump very high otherwise. Or wait. Oh, there we go. Took him long enough. I'll take this one just in case I need another one for that last jump. Even if it wasn't originally intended that I'd need one for the last jump, I might need it now. Okay. Seems like that went alright. And let's drag this poor sheep along with me. Whoa! Oh yeah, there's lots of stuff here. Well, I guess that's... Guess that wasn't the right way to go after all. Can Rosalina use the boot? Ah, get out of my way. Yeah. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done that, to be honest, but... Whoa! You... You stay away from my face. Wow, that makes me kill the sheep, too. Yeah, this boot isn't working out as well as I was hoping it would. But I think the blue coin, the blue switch is back here anyway, so... Yeah, I see the blue blocks, which means, yep, here's the coins that I'm looking for. Just gotta... whoops, I hit the ceiling. <laughs> is I'm assuming that was a hammer cow by its movements, but... Okay, so three out of four switches. Oh, and I have enough... Uh, Super Rosalina magic powers for an instability now. For whatever that's worth. So yeah, I wasn't able to make it up there before, but now if I jump out of the boot, I can do it easy, so... Boot jump! Oh yeah, and I guess I have these blocks too. Let's not break that, just in case. I can't get up there, I don't think. No. Her boot jump is just as low as all her other jumps. Which means she gets less benefit from the boot than other characters do. Yeah, that's not good enough. Unless I can get this guy to help me out, but that's dangerous. I don't like this guy. Let's just use invincibility to break him. Aw, oh, and now I can't use the sheep, can I? Well... I'm not going to try dragging the boot with me. In fact, might as well just use the boot to get up there. Okay, I see red coins. Maybe they were leading me left all along. Yeah, the hitbox definitely seems to be at her base. It would make sense with the other characters, but can never tell, really. Ah, oh, dang it. You better... Yeah, there we go. In hindsight, there was a sheep fountain back there. <laughs> sheep fountain, that's not something you look for every day. And now we can get past the pipes! Yay! This is another pretty long level. Thankfully it's not too hard. Oh. Oh yeah, wasn't this actually somewhat difficult? And I ran it myself out of star power, which sucks because... Yeah, gotta be careful with this guy. Because if I am too close when he fires hay bales... Dang it, I missed. Well, better not get that mushroom and waste my power up. Ugh, <laughs> like, it's perfectly fine to get the other mushroom and waste that power up, though, of course. Because, who needs that mushroom, right? Yeah, now I've got plenty of ammo. So as long as I don't c start continually messing up. There we go. Gotcha! Mooch. I guess that's fitting, considering he was mooching off the farm, canonically, I guess. Okay, some long levels. <laughs> the Invasion 2. This one will probably be a little bit shorter. Oh, oh yeah, doesn't this thing do a thing where it, it just kind of has this long level just to get through that tiny little pipe there? Oh, that was dumb. 
Probably would have preferred the tail feather, to be honest. Wait, the the midpoint? Was that a way out? Because if, if so, I could have totally broken this with Rosalina. See, they're... they're so, they don't bounce off the ground when uh, you've got something selected with them. And of course, things are going to go the wrong direction half the time in this level because it's... Uh, Dang it. Because it's wraparound. Hello, other fireballs. So I can target this guy. I was wondering about that for a second, but I figured as much. I, I wonder if I can target things that I can't hit with the fireballs. Yeah, I can. So I guess that kind of works as a target for, a, if, uh, for some puzzles, maybe. Level is red on the world map. <laughs> what, uh, I, what is this world map you speak of, Toad? What's a Toad for that matter? I'm not playing as that guy today. Well, <laughs> that, that took long enough, I guess, but I beat the Mario Challenge with Rosalina. Yay! Oh, for some reason I thought it was wraparound, even though the fireballs clearly weren't going wrapping around. So Rosalina played probably the closest to the original five in terms of gameplay, so I'm thinking the others will be a little bit more uh, stand out. Because a lot of Rosalina a lot of Rosalina's mechanics were similar but different enough to keep her different, except for the invincibility thing. But <laughs> Rosalina in a bubble. But a lot of the other characters are like not even close to the same, so. Yeah, lots of cool stuff to see still.